Hey, Alex with GME Supply, and what you are about to see is a how to rig tutorial on the Sterling Rope Aztec Elite Kit. As you can see up there in the title, this is the detailed version of this video. It's pretty long, but it goes through every step in close detail so you can see exactly how to rig this thing properly. If you wanna see a shorter video, click right here, and you can see the shorter video, which is just an overview. It doesn't show you exactly how it works, where it goes, how to tie the knots, but if you just need a refresher on what to do, what steps, that's the one you wanna watch. All right, so the first step is to lay your Omniblock pulleys out thusly. You have the blue pulley on the left with the Beckett pin facing you, and you have the orange pulley on the right with the Beckett pin up. So there's text on the bottom of the orange pulley and text on the back side of the blue pulley. Next, we're going to attach our eight mil cord. We'll take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the Beckett cover on the orange pulley. Take our eight mil cord, put it over the orange pulley like this, replace our Beckett cover and tighten that down. Be sure, be sure in this step to not pinch the cord with the Beckett cover. Once you have it tightened down, make sure that your cord can rotate around and it's not caught on that Beckett cover. Okay, after attaching the sewn in to the orange pulley, you're gonna come over to the blue pulley with the tail of the cord, and you're going to run it on the far side, this back side of the blue pulley, down through the pulley. Make sure you're going down through the pulley and not up. Then pull the rest of your cord through. All right, now we have all of our cord through the blue pulley. We're gonna go back to the orange pulley on the bottom and come towards you. It's the bottom sheave pulling the cord through towards you, then pull all your cord through. Now the cord is pulled through the bottom sheave of the orange pulley. It's time to bring in our first ratchet. And this is the blue ratchet. They're color coded, so we have the blue ratchet with the blue pulley, the orange ratchet with the orange pulley. And what we'll do here is align it like this with the large loop towards the pulleys and you're going to take your tail and go under and then over on the ratchet. Make sure you have it oriented this way and not flipped. You want, you want to have the right side of the ratchet on top of the yellow cord, the left side underneath the yellow cord, and then you will pass your tail through the blue pulley from the bottom up. So. The closer sheave to you, bottom up on the blue pulley, then pull your cord through. Okay, we have the cord through the blue pulley, and now it's time to put in the orange ratchet. Again, we'll go under the left side and over the right side. So you have on the two cords, the blue inside is on top, the orange inside is on top, then the cord goes over the outsides of both of the ratchets. Then we'll go through the orange pulley on the top sheave, going away from you towards this Beckett cover and pull your cord through. All right, now that we have the cord through the pulleys correctly, it's time to tie our ratchet. So I'm gonna start with the blue ratchet here. What we'll do is we'll take this small loop, pass it under the yellow cord that it's on and through the loop on the other side. And you'll have something that looks like this. So that's your first. Do it again on your second. Make sure that you're keeping the loops on either side of this terminated heat shrink lined up. So now we have two and one, and we'll go through a third time. It might be a little tight, but that's what you want. And especially if you have a new kit, it might be a little bit stiff, that's expected. So now here's our ratchet knot. You have two on the left side towards the blue pulley, three loops on the right side away from the pulley. Then go ahead and tighten this down, make it nice and tight. What kind of helps here is just to twist towards the terminated end and pull, and you'll have a nice tight ratchet prusik knot there. And then go over and do the same thing on the orange side. So you take this, go under the yellow cord, up through the loop, one, 
a second time, two, and then a third, three. We also have other videos that go over this Prusik hitch in detail. If you search how to tie common knots GME supply, that'll come up on our channel as well. And the same thing, you have two on the pulley side, three on the non-pulley side, and again, just tighten this up. And you have your press a ratchet. Okay, now that the four to one system is done, it's placed in the back, and I will take the third Sterling Rope safety carabiner with this captive eye and the tail of the eight mil cord, and we're gonna tie a barrel knot onto this carabiner. So pass the tail through the captive eye part of the carabiner, pull yourself some slack, and to tie the barrel knot, we'll take the tail, wrap it under the cord, then back towards the carabiner, over itself once, twice, and a third time, and then this gets passed through the knot, through all three loops that we just created. And give yourself a little bit more slack, you can pull it up. You don't want too much of a tail left at the end of this knot, so you wanna tighten it down as much as you can, leaving as little amount of tail here and you want your knot to be right up on the carabiner. So tighten and kind of twist to pull it as tight as you can. And there you have it. There is your barrel knot on the captive eye of the safety carabiner. The final piece of this kit is the 44 inch six mil travel restraint and you'll see it has a terminated heat shrink here, a smaller loop, and a larger loop. And what you need to do is take the larger loop, you wrap it around your palm like this, and then you start with your two front fingers, you go once over those, once around the bottom two with the other end, twice around your front fingers, make sure you're not getting them twisted or anything, twice around, your bottom fingers, and then one more time over the third on your top fingers. So you have three and two. Then remove the two loops from your bottom fingers, rotate them around, and put them onto your top fingers. So you just turn them from here, rotate them to your top fingers, And then take the small loop on the other end of this cord and you wanna pass it through all of these. This can be kind of tricky to keep everything lined up, but you wanna pull all the way through past this heat shrink. And then what you've essentially done is you tied that same Presic knot that we've done on the smaller ratchets on the four to one onto this larger travel restraint. And this looks pretty messy right now, but just kind of twist, tighten everything down, and it'll start to look exactly like the other did on that four to one. Again, just twist and push the slack through and just repeat that and it'll tighten itself down nicely. Make sure everything's nice and flat don't have any bunching or crossing. And again, we go over this in the knot video. It's worth checking out. There's a lot of good knots in there. There. So we have this knot. We have two loops here. And then we have still the smaller loop on the other end. And finally, the last part of the system, you take the small end and you pass it over the safety carabiner with the barrel knot, like this, with the right side on the top of the cord, the left side under the cord. 
And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna tie a Prusik ratchet with this. This is your tail end now where you just tied this ratchet. And you're gonna do it just like we did on the blue and the orange earlier. So you go under the yellow cord, through, and this one can be a little difficult since you're de dealing with a lot of cord and you're also dealing with these two looped ends. But as long as you keep the left and the right separated when you pass this through, it'll stay nice and clean. Then the one, two, and then your third time. See how it kind of wants to go sideways, but just keep it in line and you should be good. And then, as we've done before, just tighten it down. And you have your same ratchet, one, two on one side, one, two, three on the other. And that completes the assembly of the Sterling Rope Aztec Elite system. Now, just gather everything together, throw it in your trusty Sterling Rope pouch, put it on your belt, and you're ready to go. So that's that. Your Sterling Rope Aztec Elite kit is now rigged and ready to use. To see the Sterling Rope Aztec Elite and all great products from Sterling Rope, visit us at jamiesupply.com. Click subscribe to catch our videos the instant we post them and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with all of our updates, news, and contests.